the line. This is the way to do it, guys. Clip up. Sour information, good afternoon, Golf Golf Alpha, Lima Bravo, request radio check, airfield information, 1POB, VFR2, Gamston. Golf Golf Alpha, Lima Bravo, Roger, taxi to runway 23, QNH1014. Taxi runway 23, QNH1014, Golf, Golf Alpha, Lima Bravo. Okay, so we're going to 2 3. So it's 20 past 5 on a Friday evening, and we're at Sywell in Northamptonshire, ready to head home in time for the weekend. I've decided to fly rather than drive today to skip the inevitable Friday night traffic on the M1. Here at Sywell, you'd sort of taxi across the grass, there's no That's real taxiways, you just sort of aim for where you want to be and get there, it's a bit weird. And it's very bumpy grass as well. Final information, Golf Charlie Echo Alpha Mike, request taxi from Fly Light to Fuel Pumps. Charlie Echo Alpha Mike, taxi to the pumps. Roger, Golf Alpha Mike. Uh, right, so we're going to take off with two, two levels of flap today. Right. We're ready to go. So wait for him to land there and I'm going to go around the back of there. I've got Freeman Bravo ready for departure at 2-3. Golf Freeman Bravo, take off runway 2-3, your discretion, so it's between 2 7 zero, 8 knots. Taking off, Golf Freeman Bravo. With a 600 metre runway here at Sywell, I'm doing a short field takeoff today, which means an extra stage of flap, holding the brakes while I apply power, and then releasing the brakes. Okay, so we're on 2-3. We're clear on approach. Golf Wishy Tango, 2-3, left hand circuit, QP 999, Hector Pascals. 2-3 left turn, 999, Golf Wishy Tango. Okay, so grass runway, so I'm going to wait for him to clear up the top there. Staying off the centre line because it's going to make it really bumpy. Right, he's cutting right, okay, so set power set. I go for it, can go back overhead joint for 2-3. Hey, okay, feet on the floor. Peas and peas in the green, airspeed's along. Uh, Zawa information, this is for the family and for Zulu Mike. Uh, request the power head transit at 3,000 feet. Charlie Echo Zulu Mike. Ready to the Sawa QNH1014, 3 in the circuit. With a slight headwind, one on board and around half a tank of fuel, we lifted off in less than 300 metres and we're comfortably climbing away before 400. Tango Echo is Tango Echo, Roger. Tango Echo, Roger. Okay, airborne. That wasn't too bad. Off 300 feet on one degree of flop up. Two degrees of flap up. And Golf Lima Bravo leaving the zone to the north, changing to East Mids 134 decimal 180. Thanks very much for having us. Really good day. Alright, what a beautiful evening for flying. Taking off from Sywell now, heading back to Gamston. That's about a. Ooh, what we got about a 30 minute flight or so back to Gamston. A lovely, lovely spring evening. At the moment, anyway. See what the weather's doing nearer to Gamston, of course. Uh, so we're going to go up and talk to East Midlands in a minute. Have a um, little chat with them and let them know where we are. See if we can pick up their traffic service and um, have a little poodle up back to Gamston. A beautiful evening for flying, though. Look at that. Wow.
East Miller's Radar, good evening, Golf Golf Alpha Lima Bravo, request traffic service. Golf Golf Alpha Lima Bravo, passing message. Golf Golf Alpha Lima Bravo, PA28 route is Sywell to Gamston, presently 3,500 feet, uh, 5 miles to the north of Sywell, request uh, traffic service. Golf Lima Bravo, score 4555. 4555, Golf Lima Bravo. Nice healthy tailwind anyway, that's quite nice. JCB1, contact as well as tower 124, decimal 005. Bye-bye. Golf Lima Bravo, the Kin H1015, report your altitude. Kin H1015, and 3,400 feet on that Kin H, Golf Lima Bravo. Golf Lima Bravo, Roger, you are identified. It's a traffic service with reduced traffic information due to radar suppression. Traffic service reduced, Golf Lima Bravo, thanks. Look at that view, jeez. That's amazing. Golf Lima Bravo, request 60 change to Gamson Radio 130 to 480. Golf Bravo, Romeo, Squawk 7000, Free Hall Gamson. Squawk 7000, Golf Bravo Delta 7 Romeo, thanks. This is just insanely beautiful. I don't very often fly at this sort of time of night, it's like half five, quarter to six in the evening in the spring, so the sun's just sinking a little bit, we're getting into that golden time of day very soon, it's just stunning. My alternative to this route, as on the way down to Cywell a couple of videos ago, uh, was to take the M1 and drive for two hours, and it's currently half past five on a Friday night. I don't fancy driving on the M1. When I can fly up, um, in 25 minutes versus two hours sitting behind a lorry on the M1. This is the lie, this is the way to do it, guys. Golf Lima Bravo, primary contact now in your right one o'clock position, two miles, no height. Further in your right half as 12 by six miles, again, no height. And we're looking for the traffic, Golf Lima Bravo. Golf Lima Bravo, Langer and Salt, we both active today. Thank you, Roger, Golf Lima Bravo. Thank you, Roger, who's Roger? <laughs> uh, it. absolute buffet. it. Sometimes my radio is just terrible. It always throws me off when people say things that I don't necessarily expect. You know, a lot of people ask me all the time about air traffic control and how you sort of understand the whole jargon and, and, um, when you're talking to them. And really, it doesn't. It becomes to a point where it's not jargon anymore. It's a process. It's a routine. And you're talking and you know it. Everybody follows the same routine. It's the same words over and over, just with slightly different variances in it. And it actually becomes really second nature the more you do it, to be fair. Didn't, when I did my PPL, it didn't take too long at all to get into that whole terminology. The same pretty much, and it's the same pretty much anywhere in the UK. You fly all over the UK, everybody knows what to expect. You know what to expect. You talk to air traffic control, they know what to expect from you. Um, and if they don't know, then they will ask you, and you will give them the information that they ask for. It's really as simple as that. It's very difficult to sort of explain. You just sort of get into a routine. Golf Limber Bravo, traffic now in your left 11 o'clock by 7 miles, uh, 3,200 feet, believed to be the paradropper aircraft from Langer. Roger, right, we're looking for the traffic and we're still well clear of Langer, Golf Limber Bravo. Okay, so I'm going to head across to the right a little bit just to stay clear of Langer because they are dropping meat bombs from the sky. Oh, there he is. I've got him 700 feet above, just in the 11 o'clock position. Thousand feet above. Sort of over there. So he's not. Golf Lima Whiskey, what are your intentions after the go around? I uh, depart via bar, low level, back to shuttle, well. I can't see him, but I don't know where he is. Because there's Langer and he's right over the top of Langer. And he's a thousand feet above me now, so that's good. 
But today I'm getting a traffic service basically from East Midlands and they're just telling me what's around me. Uh, they've just given me this contact of the skydiving aircraft over at Langer and he's climbing up at the minute to drop his passengers off. Um, I've got him on my radar screen here, we did pop up briefly, so I know roughly where he is, he's over the Langer area, I bet he was a thousand feet above the climbing just a minute ago, so he's fine, he's no factor. Good news for that is that I know there's only one, there is 3,000 feet above now and right over the top, so Paul, we will stay well clear of Langer. I don't fancy picking up an extra passenger today in the form of a skydiver dropping from the sky at a great speed. And I don't really think that they'd appreciate the lift down to the ground either. There's something else people ask me all the time is how they can get into flying planes. Um, and it, I guess I can see how daunting it can see and appear when you see somebody flying a plane and you're like, I want to do that, how do I do that? Really, the, I'm going to give you the same advice really that I will give to absolutely anybody who asks me this question and it's the same advice that everybody else will give you and that is to get yourself to your local flying club, your local flying school, get a trial flying lesson with them. They'll give you like an hour in a plane, let you fly the plane, see if you like it, see how it feels. Um, and then they, you take it from there, you do your PPL course basically, which is what I've got. Uh, when I did it, it was sort of, I think it was 45 hours when I did it, uh, back in 2001. I don't think it's changed too much since then, although I'll pop a thing on the screen if it has. Um, and after your 45 hours, during your 45 hours, you do things like cross-country flying, you do all of your emergency landings, you do some solo flying, quite a lot of solo flying um, as a student. And then eventually, the skills test, a few written exams, and you are free to fly. Um, and rent a plane, just like I do. Um, rent a plane and take it up for a bit. And have a bit of fun. And depending on the club, depends on the aircraft they've got, obviously. Uh, Gamson's very good, they've got this aircraft, the Warrior, they've got my other aircraft to fly, the Arrow. And they've got a few 150s as well, Cessna 1 for 152s, um, I think, or 150s, can't remember. Um, which one exactly they have, but they've got a few of those, and they've even got like a multi-engine plane as well, a diamond, um, that they're doing some training in as well. And from there, you basically add ratings on as you go forward, as simple as it is. Um, my instrument rating, you sort of, um, your instrument rating you can add on, you can do your night rating, I haven't done that yet. Um, that's Darling's on the frequency. Must be the Coast Guard. Coast Guard, November Golf, East Midlands Radar, a minute, flight control airspace, I'll call you back. East Midlands Radar, head about 504 Alpha. So we're well clear of Langer parachuting zone now, so that's good. Oh, there's Bottlesford coming up on the right. Nice visual reference point. used RAF base down there. Now used by the looks of it for storing a load of cars. Golf Lima Bravo, primary contact in your 12 o'clock, 5 miles no height, further in your left half that's 11, 4 miles no height, and in your immediate 12 o'clock by 2 miles, again no height, just keep a good lookout. Roger, we're looking for the traffic, thank you Golf Lima Bravo. Golf Lima Bravo, no further chat with me, radar service terminates and uh, free call Gamston, bye bye. 7000 and free call in Gamston, thanks very much for having a great weekend, Golf Lima Bravo. Gamston Radio, Golf Bravo, Charlie Kilovictor inbound. Golf Bravo, Charlie Kilovictor, Gamston Radio, pass your message. Golf Bravo, Charlie Kilovitz, uh, we're just off the balls to 1,500 feet, requesting information for rejoin. Golf Bravo, Charlie Kilovitz, Roger, runway 21, right in circuit, the QNH 1015, QFE 1012. Uh, 21, right in circuit, QFE 1012, Golf Kilovitz. Yeah, I'm some radio, good evening, Golf Golf Alpha, Lima, Bravo, we're back. 
Golf Golf Alpha Lima Bravo, Gamsa Radio, pass your message. Golf Golf Alpha Lima Bravo, PA28, six miles to the south at 3,000 feet. Uh, request joining on the information. Golf Golf Alpha Lima Bravo, Roger, runway 21, right hand circuit, the QFE 1012. 2-1 right hand circuit and QFE 1012, Golf Lima Bravo. Okay, so some other traffic inbound. That's fine, I can see the airfield, visual in over there. Change tank to here, what we on the right tank there. Gonna stick the fuel pump on and quickly change to the left. Uh, as we've got more in the left now. Okay, airfield is in sight. Now 12 o'clock. 2 1 right hand. So, bump, 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 right, okay, cool. Uh, over the numbers, and we'll call over half. That's 2,500. Golf Kilovic to descend into that side. Okay, it's descend into that side, right. Golf Golf November's final, drama 2. Golf Kilovic to Roger, brake, brake. Golf Golf November, Roger, surface wind 260 degrees, 1 0 knot. Golf Golf November. Let's take that one in lights on. All stations, all stations, Gamson is now closing, please make blind calls. Alright. Call Fleema Bravo, he's ending dead side contact, one over the airfield. Okay, so now, it's six o'clock, Gamson has just shut, so that means that we have to make blind calls, which means effectively we're just telling everybody where we are in the circuit, they're not going to respond to us, so we have to be really careful now, give a good look out for everybody, a good listen out, there's two aircraft, there's one on the runway I can see, he's just landed, there's one just turned downwind, which I can see as well. Going for the lake. Uh, 12 kilometers downwind, 2 on the landing. Downwind. Golf Golf in there, runway vacated. Got him there, okay, he's off. There's him on downwind, I can see him just turning downwind. And he's just leveled off his wings. 1200 feet above the airfield, and we're right overhead. If we just sort of ease off slightly. Coupling with Bravo down with two water land. Off on the carriages attached, we just switch fuel pump this on. Uh, how much is the car? Instruments are all set, can't be on. Uh, Stand towards Redford a little bit just so that we can get in behind Kilo Victor. Ooh, there's an Azuma train in the station. Got Kilo Victor's final two on the one. Still visual with him. The low sun makes it really easy to see them. Bravo, final two one to land contact one ahead. Okay, a little bit of a crosswind, so we're going to dip the right wing into wind. Let it cock the plane into the wind, which means we're going to have some turbulence from these trees if we're not careful. 
slowing down 70 knots. Uh, got a little bit quicker, but I'm kind of going slow because of him. There's that blue lorry again going across the end of the runway. I'm sure this is flight sim. Every day he goes across the right, he's vacated. Cool, clear, runway's clear. Cool, clear, it's a runway vacated at Alpha. Job. Flaps up. There we go, what a lovely evening that's a land at Gamsden. So with a flight time of just half an hour back from Northampton, I was home. Half an hour, I'm probably sitting on the M1 by now. With about another hour and a half to go. Hopefully the Bravo are only the to Alpha. Personally, this sort of flight sums up everything that I love about flying. A trip that would have made for a really long, tiring day by road turned into an afternoon hop there and back with some fantastic views and I was still home in time for tea. I do hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Please let me know what you've thought to it down in the comments and if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already, it all helps me to grow the channel and bring more flying videos your way. In the meantime, as always, thanks so much for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.